In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a color code in Google Sheets that will automatically change cell color based on values. So to do this, we're going to use conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is useful because you can create rules that um, affect certain cells and depending on the values of those cells, you can change the formatting such as the font, font color, fill color. What I'm going to do in this example is I have this spreadsheet with test scores for various students. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight each range of test scores a different color, but I'm gonna use conditional formatting to create a rule to do that automatically. So the first thing you wanna do here is highlight the range that you want to create the color code for. And then you come up here into the format option and conditional formatting. So with conditional formatting, there is a bunch of different rules um, that dictate how um, your cell's formatting is gonna change. So there's all of these different rules you can apply um, depending on which cells you want to change. In my example, I'm just going to do is between. And so my first range is is between 40 and 49. So I'm going to do 40 in this box and then 49 in this box. And then if the value is between those two ranges, we're going to do this light red color here and then select done. And so here's my first rule. And then I'll just click add another rule, select the same option and we'll do is between 50, 59. And for this one, I'll just do one shade darker red. And then I'm going to continue doing this for the rest of my rules, 60 to 69. And so there I have color coded my sheet using conditional formatting. So this is just one way to do it is using is between. There's a ton of different options. You have a lot of customization over which values um, are going to end up having the formatting changed. Um, last, I will just show you one, um, one other way to do it. Let me just put this here and clear formatting. So um, with conditional formatting, you can either create a custom rule like I did here, or another option if you come into conditional formatting. A quick option is you can just select color scale. Um, depending on your data, this may do the trick. And you, have, you do have some customization over your color scale here but if you're just doing something where it's like a scale of colors this might be a good option too instead of um, setting up a custom rule so that's something you can play around with um, but that's pretty much it for this video just let me know in the comments if you have any questions thank you for watching the video if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or content suggestions just let me know in the comments and i'll try my best to answer everyone